Alright, so I'm going to be taking the main park road. On my way down to the Flamingo Visitor Center. You can see the map here of Everglades National Park. And where I'm at, Main Visitor Center. So I'm going to be taking this road from here all the way around all the way down to the Flamingo Visitor Center this is right inside the main welcome center I'm sure there are no other Everglades in the world it's a full colored map all the different areas, things there are to see and do. Alright, so I am driving the trail right now. It's just the main road, the only drivable portion that is inside the Everglades National Park. I'm on, on my way to the Flamingo Welcome Center, and it's about 34 miles. Now along this path, there are multiple loops that you can take, different trails. Alright, so this is what's in Flamingo. The birds will see, possibly. Okay. And then, um, US visitor is not, no internet connection. Alright, so I'm gonna go check out the Guy Bradley Trail, hopefully, see some saltwater animals. Alright, so this trail that I'm on right now is down in Flamingo. This is the southern portion of the Everglades. This is where freshwater and saltwater mix. So there's a possibility of seeing some crocodiles. It's the only area of the Everglades that there are crocodiles living with alligators. Possibly some manatees. Hopefully I'll see something. Um, be interesting anyway. I actually smell the salt water. That's what all this is. There's low tide right now. Because all this is dry up here. So we got some either crow or raven <coughs> up here in a tree. Being very, very vocal. Totally different ecosystem compared to Shark Valley. Yeah, it's definitely low tide. So the people out on the canoes. The manatees are having a very tough time as their natural food source, which is seagrass, is not growing at the moment because enough fresh water is not getting to the area. So the manatees are actually starving. So the state has started actually feeding the wild manatees in the area to help prevent starvation deaths. All right, so I'm heading back to the Guy Bradley Trail. All right, so I'm headed back to the Guy Bradley Trail, which is heading back towards the Flamingo Welcome Center or the temporary Flamingo Welcome Center in my car. Unfortunately, I didn't encounter any wildlife besides an abundance of mosquitoes. I was getting attacked all along here. There was no mosquitoes near Shark Valley as there's no stagnant water. Around here it's a different story. So just because I didn't see any 
crocodiles or manatees doesn't mean you might not have an opportunity to see them if you're here. Very interesting around this area. All right, so in addition to the main trails, there are several smaller trails that are not being maintained to help prevent damage to a critical habitat for a federally listed endangered plant species. There are several of these scattered throughout this area. So basically this is going to be all mud, no boardwalks, no paved areas to walk. This is you and the elements basically. We're going to be doing the Mahogany Hammock Trail. This is a 0.4 mile or 700 meters. Perhaps get to see one of these. This is one of their boardwalk trails. See out here in all the water. This gives you information on all this spongy looking stuff that you see here. This is called a hammock moat. Which is basically what this area is. Really out in the wilderness here. So you see the green algae on a lot of the wood. And there's kind of a musty smell. It's because of all the lush canopy here very little sunlight reaches this area so a vastly different ecosystem and habitat area compared to shark valley and what you may associate it being uh, the everglades from maybe tv and movies it's not all open water what grasses growing in it. This is called the Mahogany Trail because you got mahogany trees. This is one huge mahogany tree. Looks like it was struck by lightning at one point. That's quite an impressive tree. So you have hurricanes constantly transform the Everglades landscape. Wow, this is an interesting looking tree here. Here we got palm trees mixed in. And hammock canopy. All right, since owls are typically nocturnal, meaning that they're out at nighttime, they are sleeping or so camouflaged you don't even notice them. I was looking all up into all the trees all throughout the trail and didn't see any type of birds at all. It was still really, really nice though. All right, we got the Pahooki Trail. This is a 0.2 miles or 250 meters. is also on a elevated boardwalk. It's our magnolia. And these trees here are not dead. Just like up north they drop all of their needles. Help conserve their their reserve energy. called bald cypress grassy waters and the 
wilderness. Very nice breeze right now. There's an elevation change. You can see how the clear the water is. Basically because the water moves so slowly, it doesn't kick up the sediment on the bottom like fast flowing water does. Water is constantly moving. So unlike near the Flamingo area, there's no mosquitoes here. You can imagine all the frogs and fish that live in this area. So sawgrass. As wild places. Now it's getting pretty uh, late in the day. It's almost 5 p.m. So a lot of the birds that would be out during the daytime are more than likely at their home wherever that may be. All right, last up we got the Pinelands Trail. Now, this is actually the closest trail to the main entrance. I did them kind of in reverse. This is 0.4 miles or 625 meters. And this is a paved trail, not a boardwalk like the others. Uh, yes, Hurricane Andrew highly impacted the area. This fire sculptor of the Everglades. This is a pine forest. This is what a lot of the area in my part of the state is like or was like because a lot of it was torn down and developed what all the all the pine trees you have pine cones all over the place and pine needles and all this underbrush this is why fires are sometimes vital to survival of the forest because the fire burns out all this underbrush and helps start new growth only if it's contained this is prime real estate for snakes so if you come to a place like this you definitely want to stay on the trail And even if you're on the trail, you want to keep an eye out. Because you might find a snake sunning itself. Of course, they're not going to be usually out this time of night. Or the daytime, actually. It's still technically daytime. You can still see the water. All water underneath us. Called solution holes. It's 
that's why this is all here and these over here just like I was saying at the beginning of this particular trail about the fires prescribed burning it helps clear out all, all the underbrush further back in the trail switch some pine trees the, all this other stuff In succession. Basically, that means going from all the pine trees and switching over to all the hardwoods. They crowd out all the pine trees in this area. So very few can grow. Poison wood. Got snails. Of course, looking around, I don't particularly see any snails, but that doesn't mean they're not out here. And disappearing pines. Rock Ridge. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for my visit to the Everglades National Park down in South Florida. I had a really, really fun time. I'm sorry I didn't see any animals the southern portion like I did up in Shark Valley on the tram tour and my after walk with that. I did see a lot of good stuff there. Uh... It was interesting to see the change in the in this in the basically the the habitat ecosystem in this area versus Shark Valley. If you like what you saw, give the video a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below what your favorite part of the video was. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It is growing slowly, but it is growing. I have big big plans to continue going to multitude of different places, animal related. Also, theme parks, roadside attractions. I'm very thankful for everybody's support. I always enjoy reading everybody's comments. So don't be afraid to leave a comment or question, suggestions, complaints. As long as you're not nasty, I'll, I'll answer everything. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!